Hello, this is Max, a nurse, revealing her dark side, seeks out unfaithful men to punish them. You can subscribe to the channel after watching. It helps us a lot in real life. At All Saints Memorial Hospital, where Abby works, she observes the predatory behavior of male employees and mentors a new nurse named Danny Rogers. Abby's reputation as a top performing nurse contrasts sharply with her dark secret life. During a welcoming ceremony at the hospital, Abby is introduced to Danny's family, including her boyfriend Steve and her stepfather, Dr. Larry Cook, a psychiatrist. Abby's prolonged handshake with Larry hints at her ulterior motives. Danny's first day of duty takes a surprising turn when she encounters Steve, who works as a paramedic, in a dimly lit ward. Their romantic encounter is interrupted, and Danny expresses hesitation about moving in with him. Dr. Morris, the chief of staff at the hospital, scolds Danny for her reaction to the gruesome sight of patients. Abby notices Dr. Morris's hostility toward new nurses. Abby tries to comfort Danny, who is upset after an argument with Steve. She invites Danny for a drink to help her unwind. Going to a nightclub with Abby, Danny encounters her stepfather, Larry, leaving the hotel with another woman. Danny confronts him, but he dismisses her and drives away with his mistress. Abby takes advantage of Danny's vulnerable state after a night of heavy drinking. She manipulates Danny into getting close to a man and takes incriminating photos. The next morning, Danny wakes up in Abby's apartment, disoriented and with no memory of the previous night's events. Abby encourages her to go to work and attempts to exploit Danny's fear that Steve might discover what happened. Abby's infatuation with Danny becomes increasingly evident, and she downloads the compromising photos onto her laptop. Later, Abby encounters Jared, a man who transports cadavers to the anatomy lab, and she appreciates his concern for her safety. Abby visits Larry's office, posing as a patient, and admits her addiction to men, which traces back to her admiration for her doctor father when she was young. When Abby seeks his assistance, Larry clarifies that overcoming addiction is a journey, agreeing to continue their sessions next week and sharing his contact details. Abby departs, leaving a trail of suggestive gratitude. The following day, Daddy, perplexed by an opened envelope, receives flowers from Steve at the hospital. Later, Abby witnesses Dr. Morris' improper advances towards a perturbed Daddy while instructing Abby on medication administration for a patient. Feelings of resentment and envy cloud Abby's judgment as she witnesses the closeness between Steve and Danny, leading her to a moment of sabotage. A conciliatory interaction follows between Abby and Danny, unveiling their shared experiences of loss and opening a path for empathy and mutual support. Danny reveals her motivations and familial struggles, finding an understanding listener in Abby. The night unfolds with Abby's calculated encounter with Larry where concealed intentions and veiled conversations plunge them into an obscure rendezvous. In the dark alley, Larry's showing Abby hints, but she playfully restrains him. Suddenly, she surprises him by injecting a paralyzing chemical, vecuronium, into his neck using a syringe. As Larry becomes paralyzed, Abby taunts him, mentioning that his death would leave his wife a substantial amount of money without her discovering his infidelity. Exiting the vehicle, Abby puts it in reverse, leaving the paralyzed Larry inside. The car rolls backward and collides with the truck. Larry is thrown to the passenger side window, and Abby retrieves the ribbon she used to tie him up and her jacket from the car, pretending to call 911 before leaving the scene. Later that night, Abby returns to her apartment building, greets Jared, and enters her unit. To her surprise, she finds Danny sitting in the kitchen, who tearfully informs her that Larry has been killed. Abby embraces Danny and promises to take care of her. Abby attempts to comfort Danny, but Danny informs her that she plans to move in with Steve. Abby reacts with anger and jealousy, causing Danny to become frightened and confused. Abby tries to stop Danny from leaving, revealing specific details about Larry's death that Danny had not shared with her, which further terrifies Danny. She leaves Abby's apartment in distress. After attending Larry's funeral, Dan spots Abby talking to Detective Rogan who is investigating Larry's case. Detective Rogan introduces himself to Danny and leaves his contact information in case she has any information to share. Danny confronts Abby, who pretends to be a grieving former patient of Larry's. Abby offers her condolences and walks away, deciding to refocus on her nocturnal activities. Several days later, a cheerful female employee puts smiley stickers around the hospital, annoying Regina. Meanwhile, 
Danny receives a message containing pictures of her wild night with Abby and the random man. Shocked and alarmed, Danny quickly leaves her seat as the smiling lady enters their office. The new HR director, Rachel Adams, learns about Abby's location from Regina before giving her a smiley sticker. As Rachel encounters Abby while she tends to a patient, she notices a striking resemblance to someone she knows but can't quite pinpoint who or where she's seen her before. After discussing work matters, Rachel realizes that Abby bears a resemblance to her childhood neighbor, Sarah Price, who was sent to Cineview Institute as a child. Rachel also recalls the last time she saw Sarah, when she was selling her mother's house. Danny overhears this conversation just as Abby watches Rachel leave. That night, Abby surprises Rachel with an invitation to go for a drink at a place called The Sudden, which Rachel enthusiastically accepts. Meanwhile, Danny is packing her belongings into her car when Abby calls and invites her to join them for a night out with Rachel. Danny declines, falsely claiming to be at Steve's house, though Abby suspects otherwise due to the large bag she's holding. Abby ends the call, and Danny drives away, feeling uneasy. Upon arriving at Steve's place, Danny notices her computer receiving an email notification. She opens the message, revealing a collection of compromising photos from her night with Abby and a stranger. Steve arrives, and Danny manages to distract him long enough to delete the photos from the computer. Despite their attempts at intimacy, Danny blurts out information about Abby's connection to Larry. Steve receives a text and is called into work but promises to discuss whatever is troubling Danny before leaving. Later that night, Danny is startled awake by a video call on her laptop, which turns out to be from an intoxicated Rachel. Abby lurks behind Rachel, brandishing a large syringe aimed at her neck, causing Danny to scream warnings at the screen. Just as the needle is about to pierce Rachel's neck, the call abruptly ends. Danny immediately dials 911 to report what she witnessed, providing Abby's address to the dispatcher. However, she soon receives another video call from Abby, who displays Rachel's lifeless body, makes threats, and clutches a doll before abruptly ending the call. The following day, Danny goes to the police station to provide a statement, but is surprised to see Abby leaving the station after speaking to Detective Rogan. Detective Rogan informs Danny that Rachel is safe and questions her about accusing Abby of killing the HR director. Steve arrives during this conversation. Danny insists that Abby is toying with her, but Rogan suggests that it's Danny who is obsessed with Abby. Danny vehemently denies this accusation, but Detective Rogan shows Steve pictures of Danny and Abby kissing at the club, shocking Steve, since there is no evidence that Abby slipped her anything that night. Danny is warned to stay away from Abby. Danny then accuses Abby of being responsible for Larry's death, but Rogan reveals that Vecuronium was found in Larry's system. The detective also mentions that Danny signed out the same paralytic substance on the day her stepfather died. As they leave the police station, Danny tries to explain her side to Steve, but he is furious and feels betrayed. Steve angrily rides off, leaving Danny on the street. In the hospital, Abby notices Danny talking to Dr. Morris in his office. Meanwhile, Rachel is about to search for pictures of Sarah Price when someone suddenly covers her mouth with a cloth and forcefully removes her from her seat. A few days later, Danny visits Cineview Institute, where an orderly shares Sarah Price's history. It's revealed that Sarah caught her father inappropriately with his nurse, leading to a violent confrontation where her father harmed her mother. Sarah then eliminated her father with a scalpel. She was sent to Cineview Institute after the nurse testified in favor of her mother. They come across an old photo of Sarah holding a doll remarkably similar to the one Abby had in the video call. The orderly recalls that after Sarah's mom did the unspeakable thing, the child found a motherly figure in a nurse named Janet. Danny is shown a picture of the nurse, whose full name was Janet Abigail Russell, suggesting that Sarah adopted the name for herself. Back at the hospital, Dr. Morris summons Abby after a complaint from Danny. He makes an indecent proposal to Abby, which she accepts. Abby lures the doctor to the morgue, where she incapacitates him with a chemical-soaked cloth. Dr. Morris woke up bound and gagged on the autopsy table, as Abby wrote the word pig on his chest with a scalpel. She then threatens him with various gruesome ways of disemboweling him with a surgical power tool. Meanwhile, while driving back, Danny contacts Regina at the hospital and asks her to connect her to Rachel's phone. Rachel's phone begins to ring, but Danny hears another phone ringing from somewhere in her car. She pulls over and discovers the second phone spattered with blood in the trunk. Danny calls Abby, who is currently with Rogan. 
Abby answers the call while Robin goes to take a shower. Danny questions her about what she did to Rachel. Abby alludes to Rachel's gruesome fate, already framing Danny for the act and threatening Steve. The call ends, and Danny leaves a voicemail for Steve, urgently warning him to stay away from Abby, then rushes to the hospital. Simultaneously, Abby leaves Rogan without a word. Danny arrives outside the hospital just as Steve unknowingly enters an elevator with Abby. In the police station, Rogan enters his office and listens to Danny's voicemail urging him to verify Abby's true identity with Cineview. As Danny navigates the hospital corridors, she encounters Abby, who appears nonchalant. Danny demands to know where Steve is, and a scuffle ensues. Regina attempts to intervene, but Abby strikes her unconscious, sending her to the floor. Danny manages to push Abby into a laboratory, and they clash, causing glass cases to shatter. Abby nearly stabs Danny, but Danny successfully knocks the deranged nurse back using an instrument. Abby escapes and incapacitates a guard by shocking him unconscious with a defibrillator. Danny pursues Abby and instructs the other nurses to call the police. She catches up to Abby and charges at her, resulting in a confrontation on the operating room floor. Just as a policeman arrives to assist Danny, Abby unexpectedly strikes him eliminating him, preparing to harm Danny next. Calling Abby by the name Sarah, Danny attempts to reason with her and persuade her to stop her murderous rampage. In response, Abby slashes Danny across the back. Another officer tries to subdue Abby but is met with a brutal stab to the eye, and Abby screams as Danny manages to escape. Abby soon catches up to Danny, and they engage in a struggle. Danny appears to overpower Abby and knocks her seemingly unconscious. Steve arrives on the scene and attempts to calm Danny down. After a 10 sex change, they look back to find that Abby has slipped away. Danny and Steve give chase, but Abby locks herself inside a ward filled with patients and proceeds to harm everyone in sight. Steve manages to break the door open with a stool, and he and Danny rush inside to provide first aid to the injured patients. Abby gains the upper hand by pretending to be an injured patient, kissing Danny, and then gives Steve a punch. Danny tends to Steve's wounds, and Abby manages to escape once more. Later, as Abby leaves her apartment, Detective Rogan confronts her with a gun and arrests her for her involvement in Larry's death. Abby initially attempts to seduce the detective but switches tactics when she notices someone observing them from a nearby door. Jared arrives and strikes Detective Rogan with a baseball bat and eliminates him. Abby exploits Jared's kindness and persuades him to help her dispose of the detective's body. She watches with a sense of accomplishment as she eliminates men she deems despicable. Days later, Abby enters another hospital, St. Valentine's Medical Center, assuming the identity of its new HR officer, Rachel Lowens. If you are interested in such films, please proceed to the next video on the screen and also share your thoughts about this film in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe. Goodbye.